My name is Marie Tynes. I'm Rodney Palmer. I'm the chair of the religion department here at Andrews University. My name is Kayla. My name is Rahel Wells. My name is Nick Gunn. And I'm Dina. Why do I pray? My prayer comes from different reasons. First, sometimes I pray because of something that's great has happened to me and I'm automatically just saying, thank you God for this. Other times I pray to God because something bad is happening and like, you know, I'm coming to him for help and I need something. But often I look at prayer in the same way that I would talk and look at, you know, my interpersonal relationships with my family and my closest friends. I talk with them because I want to rather than because I have to. And that's how I approach my prayer with God many times. I want to talk to God, even though sometimes I may not feel like praying, but I still do. Why do I pray? Uh, I pray because it's a way for me to communicate with God. It's a way for me to express my feelings to God. It's also a way that like, I use prayer as a weapon, especially when I'm feeling down. Um, it's like my, it's my release. It's my way of just knowing that like God is listening to me and he, he hears everything that I say to him. Like even sometimes I know that I might feel like I can't feel God. I just know that I have that outlet and that's why I pray. Well, I pray because it's just an amazing thing to have that communication with God. Whatever is on my heart, I can tell it to someone who is greater than I am, who I know has my interest at heart, and who I know won't tell my secrets. I pray because he's, in my case, is the only tool that I have to be close to God, to make me feel comfortable and secure because I know that he is with me. And the reason I, I always pray is because when I pray, I feel like I'm not that distant from him. And he's a very good, um, maybe, I don't know if say tool that we as Christians have uh, to get closer uh, to God. Not only when we have uh, very bad situations, but also when we have very good situations, not only for asking things, but to have a person to talk with. I pray because it's a way to thank God and have a conversation with God. I pray because I love God and I want to have a relationship with Him. And I know that prayer is not easy because you can't see the person you're talking to. Um, but I pray because it's kind of like talking to my friend, right? If I'm, if I really want to get to know someone or spend time with them, I don't just sit there in silence, although sometimes I might, but I think sometimes my prayers can be silent prayers as well, but you talk with them, you have a relationship with them, you have a friendship with them. And so, yes, sometimes my prayers are like requests, you know, I do make requests of God and stuff like that but often it's just talking to him about what my day is like um, things that I'm struggling with um, venting to him so it's it's really a, a a relationship more than like just doing it because I have to do it now that's not always been the case for me when I was growing up I felt that if I didn't pray about certain things and for a certain amount of time that I was not a Christian and so I really wrestled with that and it took me a long time to get to the place where I realized no it's really a friendship it's a relationship and just like with any friend you want to spend time with them and talk with them so that's that's probably the biggest reason for me that I pray. I pray because I learned that prayer is the way that we communicate with God and how he communicates back with us. Secondly I pray because the Bible verse that um, resonates with me a lot is Philippians 4, 6. Philippians 4, 6 says, Do not be anxious about anything. Instead, in every situation with prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, tell your request to God, and the peace that surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. So I pray because it is a way for me to have peace of mind. It is a way for me to alleviate and put all my my stresses on God and ask him to help in those areas and I've learned that when I 
take all my stress and everything to God, he actually gives me peace. So that is why I pray. I feel strengthened and I also have the assurance that God not just hears, but he also answers my prayers. And the more I pray, the more I develop this relationship and get a deeper understanding of what it means to cast all my cares upon Jesus because he cares for me. So I leave my burdens with him. It took me a while to learn that, but I've learned to leave my burdens with him as he says, cast it. And so I leave lighter after having prayed. How do I feel when I pray? I feel I am I'm loved. I feel that I'm having a conversation with God. I feel good when I pray. How do I feel when I pray? Honestly, it varies daily. I feel good, that's why I'm praying and then just like I'm rejoicing to God. I'm saying I'm being grateful. I'm thanking God for what he has done. And sometimes I just feel horrible. <laughs> like I just don't feel the best. So I just bent to God and I just like, let him know how I'm feeling. So it literally varies daily. When I pray, I often feel more at peace. I often feel more connected with God. Um, I will also pray for other people. So when I pray for those, pe those people, I, I always feel like, you know, sometimes I can't do anything for them, but I know that God can. <laughs> and so it's kind of like my, the best way of, really helping someone, especially if I can't help them personally, you know, I, I know that if I pray for them, I, it makes me feel better that I've done something to do to care for them. Um, many times though, also I'm like venting to God, you know, and so that's very cathartic. I'll like cry to him and sometimes I'm angry with him and then prayer doesn't necessarily always feel better, but it still is helpful because he knows then more what I'm thinking. Um, I feel kind of also settled many times, like, okay, I'm, I'm going to be okay, right? I've kind of talked it out with God. Definitely struggled with prayer a lot lately because I've struggled to feel close to God because of several things that have happened in my life and I've felt far from him and it's been hard for me to um, regain that closeness. And so that doesn't always make me want to pray. And sometimes I, you know, just not wanting to. It goes through cycles, I guess, in my life. There's times when I feel really close to God and I just love prayer. And then other times I'm like, well, I know I need to do this because I want to keep a relationship with God, but it's not always something that is just like, yes, this was amazing, right? Sometimes it's just the necessary thing. I feel relieved because I can rely all my stuff <laughs> to God and I feel different. After finishing a prayer, I feel like I am relieved. And I know because after my prayer, I see the responses, maybe not in the time that I would like, or maybe not the response that I would like, but I I am feeling that I'm not alone. So after my prayer, I feel like comfortable, like relieved. I feel at easy, you know, it's different. When I, for example, forget uh, to talk to God or to pray, it's different when I say, I need to pray and God know how I feel or all my circumstances or situations. So after the prayer is a feeling really different from the feeling that I feel when, for example, before my prayer. How many times a week do I pray? Um, I would say that that also varies. I try my best to pray every day. Even if I don't pray in the morning, I try my best to pray in the evening before I go to bed. Um, it's just like sometimes I can forget, um, but I'm working on that. Like not like trying to make sure that I make it a priority and pray every day. So, so I pray at least once per day. I wish I could say that I prayed a lot during the day. I, I pray when I wake up that God will be with me through the day and that I'll reflect him, that he'll you know, be with me in everything that I do. Um, so that's a for certain. Um, and then many times through the day, I'll also say short prayers, you know, so even if I don't have a long time of prayer with him, I will just be like, help me in this class or, you know, um, be with this person. You know, so I'm praying a lot with students during the day too, but that's kind of a little different because it's not a personal prayer, you know, but I pray often with many students th through the day. Um, 
and then sometimes even while I'm talking to someone, I'll be like, I do not know what to say to this person, help. And you know, God often helps me with that. Um, then I used to do this daily. I'm not always daily right now, but um, I would often, I also prayer journal. So often in the evenings, I will kind of reflect on my day with God and like, you know, think about what happened and reflect on it and process it with him and work through things. So journaling isn't always a prayer thing for me, but it often is. So often my journals kind of end up being a prayer and I end up kind of talking to God about what happened during the day. So I would say now that's probably on average once a week. I'm not doing that daily, but I'm at least trying to every week or so kind of reflect, how am I at with God? What's going on? Um, and then of course, when things come up that are emergencies or whatever, I am, or something that's very upsetting, I'll maybe go on a prayer walk with God. I often will just walk, especially at night with the stars out. I love just like talking with him and being like, help, this is awful. What am I going to do? You know, and I can just kind of unload everything and no one hears me because they're all asleep in bed. <laughs> so those are kind of my my main prayer practices. I probably should be more consistent about it, but I find that when I try to set myself a schedule, I am much more feeling like a legalist, you know, like I have to do this in order to be a Christian rather than it being a spontaneous relationship thing for me. So my my one habit that I do is the prayer every morning, you know, when I wake up that God will be with me through the day and that I give my life to him. Well, to be honest, I don't know. <laughs> because for example, a lot of people say that you only pray like a good prayer, like when you kneel, maybe at home, in your room, with no one seeing you. In the, la in the past years, I have been like experimenting a different relationship with God. Maybe I cannot pray a lot at home because I am not at home the majority of the entire day, so I cannot like, kneel there. But for example, I try to stay connected the entire day. For example, of course, when I get up my bed, I kneel, I pray. Also, when I go to bed at night, I kneel, I pray. But during the day, I try to have a relationship with God. So even when I, for example, I'm here in my desk, I'm talking to God about things, uh, worries, things that I need, things that I feel uh, when I'm happy, when, I'm, when I am sad, you know, so I'm trying to to keep that relationship, not just kneeling at home and leave him there, but try to be with him the entire day and keep him near me. <laughs> How many times I pray? Um, well, for one, I don't count, <laughs> but I, I, I pray when I wake up and go to bed and I pray throughout the day, just like before a test, <laughs> before I eat and things like that. Um, one thing I would note is that how many times I pray is not so much of a concern to me as just um, talking with God and being having those moments that I do talk with God meaningful. The quality over quantity, I guess. No, that's an interesting question. <laughs> um, I pray right around the clock throughout the day. You know, it's not, for some people it's falling on your knees and praying, for me it's in the moment, wherever I'm at, I face a challenge or I face a little hurdle during the work day. I, I, I whisper with a prayer and seek God's direction. I, I pray in the mornings for my family devotion. I pray in the evening for my evening family devotion too. So it's, it's, a, it's a habitual thing. It's a habitual thing, not a set time. All right. Absolutely, it would be a joy for me to pray. Yes. Yeah, sure, I can pray. Sure. Yes, I definitely can. Okay. Heavenly Father, we come to you today as humble as we know how, with prayers and thanksgiving in our hearts, Lord. We thank you for getting us throughout this week. Lord, we thank you for waking us up this morning. Lord, we, we thank you for all the miracles that you've done and worked throughout our lives. And I pray that you lead us further and further in your name. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Uh, let's pray. Father in heaven, thank you so much for um, this day and this opportunity for us to pray to you and that we can communicate. And I just want to thank you for that 
we have the assurance that when we do pray, you hear us and that you are also communicating back to us. And we ask for your Holy Spirit and your light to shine through us um, as we live and be lights to this world. In your name we pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, I thank you so much, Lord, that regardless of what the challenges are in our lives, that we can put them before you and we can rest assured, Lord, that you hear and that you answer our prayers. I pray for individuals out there, Lord, who are struggling and need that sense of direction. I pray, Heavenly Father, that you'll make the path straight for them, whatever it is that they're grappling with. We know you've done this in the past. You'll do it in the present. And we also have the assurance that if we ask in the future that you'll also do that. We thank you, Lord, for revealing to us the direction in which that you want our lives to go. And may we also be submissive that when you answer our prayers, we'll walk along that narrow path. We praise you. We thank you for this privilege of prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, uh, thank you for uh, giving us the strength to carry on uh, the things in this world while you are coming back. I ask you to bless uh, the children, to bless these guys, uh, to give them strength, to give them the guidance they need, um, to answer their prayers to you about the different things that they are facing. And we hope that you can give us, give us the strength, the tools that we need to get closer to you so we can have a better life while we are here waiting for you. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Dear Holy Father, thank you so much for allowing us to be here. Thank you a lot for allowing me to be willing to be a part of this wonderful ministry that Karis is doing. Thank you for all that you have done. Lord God, please help us as a generation to seek you, Lord God, to seek your face and to know that you are always with us, Lord, even when we can't feel you. Um, Lord, please help us to reach out to you when we are in need, but not only when we are in need, Lord God, please help us to just reach out to you every single day. Please help us to make prayer a priority in our lives, Lord, and please help us, even as we pray, please help us to also listen to you, Lord, and to just be open to what you have to say to us because you know what's best for us, Lord. Thank you for everything you have done, Lord, and um, bless this generation, Lord, bless this world. Um, please forgive us for all that we have done, and please help us to be better light bearers of you, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Dear Jesus, I thank you so much for the privilege of prayer. And we can actually talk with you that even though you are the God of the universe, you hear each one of us. And I know that you don't always answer our prayers in the ways that we may wish, but I thank you for always hearing and always caring and always seeking to answer them in the best way possible. Lord, I ask that you be with each one who is um, hearing these words, that um, whenever that may be, that you may come very close to them, help them to feel your presence, help them to know that you are there with them and you are walking with them through whatever challenges they may be facing. And Lord, help us all to think not just of now, but of eternity, because that's ultimately what gives us hope is that you, that we will be able to be with you through eternity. So whatever trials we're facing now, um, you don't, you don't leave us or forsake us. Thank you so much in Jesus name. Amen. 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 Thank you.